hearts certainly go out today. We have to talk about U.S. Senator John McCain, of course, passed away over the weekend at the age of 81. And I have enjoyed listening mm -hmm. to people all around the country on both sides of the aisle. It doesn't matter, you know, where you sit as far as your politics is concerned. I feel like the common sentiment this weekend is that he was his own man and he was a man of integrity. Yeah. And I really... Um, I was humbled this weekend by listening to all of the stories yeah, about him. Yeah, I had the chance to spend some time with him during the years when my dad was president. And I have to say, he was such an incredible man. I have this memory of being, you know, 22 years old. It was the first debate that we went to, my sister and me, in Arizona. And we so were, who was debating? And my dad was debating. My dad was debating um, John Kerry. Okay. And we were so... so he defeated McCain. He had, in 2000, he had run against yes, McCain, yes. yes. And they had a heated primary. But um, but it, it, that's the thing about the way our country used to be, mm. is it was more about morals, more mm. about friendship than it was about politics. It so did he say something? So or? Yeah. So anyway, at the debate, um, we were very nervous. Barbara and I had never gone to any sort of large political thing, definitely not a debate. And presidential debates are nerve-wracking. Yes. Um, and they're nerve-wracking when you love the, the person debating. I can only imagine. And so we were waiting behind stage, waiting, and, and my dad was getting ready, and John McCain walked in, and he, I think, noticed that Barbara and I looked awkward and nervous in the corner, and he came up, and he made jokes, and he made us laugh, and he had a sense of compassion mm. and empathy that will be so missed in this country. Um, and I have to say, his daughter mm -hmm. posted one of the most, Megan McCain, who I'm beautiful. sure y'all know, one of the most beautiful letters I've ever read, mm -hmm. um, period. And she said, all that I am is thanks to him. Now that he is gone, the task of my lifetime is to live up to his example, his expectations, and his love. It was beautiful. And then his wife, Cindy, posted, my heart is broken. I'm so lucky to have lived the adventures of loving this incredible man for the past 38 years. He passed the way he lived on his own terms, surrounded by the people he loved and the place he loved best. And I will say there's been a lot of talk about his politics, mm -hmm. but I think he was a family man first mm -hmm. and foremost. He loved his kids. He was so proud of them. Um, and what an incredible man. We were lucky it. that he was ours. He'll be missed. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.